Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Gunslinging Aspie here, ready to give you the lowdown on some news. Not really. Today I am talking about me today. Because I'm such a great person and everyone wants to know about me because I'm cool. And I've got a leather jacket on because I wanted to give off the impression that this was not film directly after another video and um, even though it is and i'm still very tired if you're wondering today i am talking about myself i am going to answer some questions that i have made for myself because i am trying to think of things that people would want to know possibly about me because um, as i said um i know it's a bit egotistical but um I haven't received any personal questions yet. Uh, I haven't sent anything out to ask for personal questions or anything like that. So yeah, today I'm going to be doing a little checklist. I've got my trusty old book here with a few questions in for me to answer. Um, just in case you wanted to know anything about good old Thomas, you know what I mean? So how have you been feeling lately with your grandparents? Have they been taking you to the zoo often? So, my friends, question one, where was I born? I was born in Harrogate, which is the district of North Yorkshire, the north of the Yorkshire place in the UK, in England. I was born in Harrogate and I have stayed in Harrogate until I moved to uni and I love Harrogate. Some people call it Harrogate, but it's Harrogate. If you know anybody from Harrogate, or if you're from Harrogate, you'll know that most people around, or basically anywhere else, calls it Harrogate. So um, it's just a little weird cult-type niche that we have in Harrogate. Harrogate. How old I am? I am 21, as of the 17th of February. Um, every year. No, I'm just kidding. In uh, 1997, which was the year that I was born, the year that I graced this earth with my magnificent presence. <sighs> am I autistic? I am autistic. Recently the, the DSM, which is like the psychological manual, has grouped together Asperger's and autism, classical autism into one bundle of well, one, one diagnosis, which is absolutely crazy, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinions. Um, but prior to that, I was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome. Um, in terms of my traits, I'm actually very high on the traits of Asperger's, so I don't know, I'm, I'm more towards classical autism than neurotypical, just by the way that I think and by my symptoms and anxiety and stimming and stuff that I had as a child and socialising. I am very happy to be autistic. I love being autistic. I could not live a life any other way apart from if I did and then I would be. But I would not like to if I am, if you're presuming that I am autistic and I have the choice to do it. See, this, this is what I mean, autism. <laughs> Which schools did I go to? I'm not going to really say that. Uh, there was two in Harrogate um, of the OT kind that I went to. OT kind being something to do with the name. I've already disclosed the name. Like I, You can't even follow me there, so... Oatlands. That was without, I was in Oatlands schools. They were not my favourite schools. They were not very good with autism. So as soon as I moved into secondary school, Everybody's social skills just completely left me in the dust and I started to get all the loneliness and all that kind of stuff associated with, you know, being autistic with as in neurotypicals running about and splitting their emotions and speech and weird learning habits at me. And then after these primary and secondary schools, I went to, what am I talking about? <laughs> Basically, my primary school was split up into two schools for like reception, year one, year two, and then 
crossed over to the other school, which was, what, like a mile away, and um, went there for secondary school until about year six. Graduated from that, got, did well in my GCSEs, well, more well than I thought I would, and went into A-levels, where I spent another two years there, in that lovely place. Actually had a lot better experience compared in comparison to the experience I had in secondary school prior to that, with all the depression and relationship problems and all that kind of tomfoolery that I'm not going to go into now. And now I'm at Manchester University, which brings us on to the next question, where do I work? I do not work. I live off the government. I'm a dirty money-grabbing freeloader. Uh, I'm a uni student. I am at Manchester University, the uni University of Manchester, not Manmet, don't want to go to that place. If anybody else on this is, is from Manmet or Salford, get off, I'm joking, I love you. <laughs> so yeah, I've been studying there for two years, and I'm in the third year of study here. I, did, I took a year out and went to Thailand, did some research, so I suppose that is a job, an unpaid job. But is it, it is a job. So sort of, I don't know what you would classify as a job. Sorry. Um, and now I'm working as another year as a student. And then I'll graduate and I've got no idea what I'm doing. I've got lots of ideas actually. I just don't know which one I'm doing. So I've got a year to sort it out. Eight months. Give or take. Maybe. Do I have a girlfriend? I do have a girlfriend and she is magnificent. I love her to bits. We met in Thailand. She is a lovely Nepalese Thai girl that I have done. Oh sh God! Now I have done videos with for the YouTube channel that are age appropriate. My God! Ah, oh. <laughs> I've completely screwed that up. Sorry, Roma, if you're watching. She's lovely, she is a model, and she has an Instagram page if you want to go check it out, Roma, at Roma Urasa, she's beautiful, just don't post any weird comments please, because she gets enough of them anyway, and it makes me cry. Just kidding, I'm a man. What do I do to relax? <laughs> what do I do to try to relax, which will be, be a better question. I'm not very good at relaxing. The only thing that really relaxes me is um, either really intense exercise, which is good, I guess. But I can't really do that all the time because it exhausts me and I don't have enough time. And um, just going out with mates and drinking, having a few drinks. Not going out out. That's not like out out is like out is when you go to the pub, out with friends and stuff and eat and stuff. Out out is when you go to the clubs just for any Americans that are watching. But yeah, I like to do that kind of stuff. I try to relax with, you know, TV, just keep my mind occupied. I watch some series on Netflix, and I like to make these YouTube videos. They're very cathartic, they make me feel nice and relaxed, and all emptied of thoughts, and all that kind of stuff. I like it very much. I like my martial arts a lot. As you may know, I am very keen Taekwondo athlete and I like doing Muay Thai um, ever since I went to Thailand and I'm starting up a lot of different things like yeah I'll go into that there's another question on that next question my parents I have two parents which is usually how it works one of which is a lovely woman who used to be a teacher her herself after, well, after having me not during having me um, I haven't mortally injured her in any way during or after the birth. I'm going into too much, too much detail here. Uh, she injured herself and then she was out for a bit and went to the police and then came back and she started training as a special needs teacher. Um, I wonder why. <laughs> My dad is a awesome guy. He's one of the nicest guys. I know they're both the nicest people. Um, I love them to bits and I could not hope for a better family and um, they've been so incredibly supportive for me with my endeavours, they support me with, um, with, I don't get that much grants for uni because of the places that we live and the, the styles that we live so they, they help me a lot with the funding 
and they also give me a lot of motivation. They help me go to competitions, take me abroad to go to competitions and stuff, and um, for my taekwondo, which is really helpful and has really had a big impact on me. And um, I don't want to talk too much about them, but they are they are the, the best people. Um, for me, I love I love them to this. But yeah, my dad is a hot wire, hot wire. Um, he is a <laughs> hot glove linesman, which means he works on live wires with big rubber gloves. Lovely, nice and sweaty. Um, uh, what's, what season do I like? If you would ask me this, if I'd have asked me this, considering I made the questions about three or four years ago, I would have said winter, just to be cool. Be like, yeah, I love the winter, it's nice and cold and stuff. Um, but I kind of like all seasons to be honest in England it's pretty much the same just, it's just really dependent on the time to be honest I prefer to have a lot more daylight so you know summer can be better for that but I do like a bit of coldness chills me out helps with the, the cold air on my face lowers my blood pressure quite like it I also like the snow a lot and contrary to what most people do I like to eat ice lollies when it's cold because I don't like my ice lollies melting in the hot sun and getting all over my hands and making me all sticky. What series am I watching currently? I have just finished the last season of Bojack Horseman, which is my absolute favourite TV show ever. Probably one of my favourite just video type things in general. Bojack Horseman is like it's it's basically the reason why I like it so much is because I'm a very negative person and a lot of his thought patterns and stuff that he has in the series are very similar to like how I think so I kind of relate to him in that way and he also gives me a an idea of what I could be like if I carried on with his kind of way of thinking and did all the stupid stuff that he did in the series and stuff so it's it's a good it was a good like learning experience for me to go through that series and um, it's also very fun it's nice to have a character that you can relate to that isn't all bubbly and frantic and stuff in a lot of soap operas and I don't know, American TV shows. Can't stand the things. Friends, get off the table. Dessert or starter? Easy one there, definitely dessert. I'm a complete sugar fiend. Anything that's addictive, like, that I've had, like, I'll just be on it non-stop. Like, I've got a really addictive personality. I used to drink too much sugar for my own good and um, got a lot of cavities and fillings because of it and um, it's taken a bit of a dark turn isn't this i really like desserts sugar is the best i love sugar so much it's really good and um, it's my cocaine but sugar is but desserts are definitely if i can get a star in as well you know both to be honest i quite like a bit of a star you know a bit of prawn cocktail have a nice main finish it off with a nice Brownie Sunday. Mm. Do I go to the gym? I sort of do. I sometimes go to the gym. Well, usually when I go, I just use the punch bag and kick it around, make a lot of noise and annoy people and hit the bag for about, I don't know, I usually stay for about one and a half, two hours, just so I get a lot of kicking done and stuff, get all the cardio. Um, work on some techniques. I do a bit of um, body weight training in my spare time. I've got some exercise equipment in my room that I sometimes use. I use it maybe every two or three days. And uh, there's like a little um, sculpture near my university on the way to university. So I just I go up to that and do some pull ups if I can in the morning uh, just to keep the fitness up. But now, not really a fan of gyms. I don't particularly like the people or the atmosphere that's going on in gyms. Um, I much prefer like nice environments like classes and stuff if I was going to go to the gym. Um, and to be honest, like, I just go to Taekwondo classes because we do circuit training there anyway. So, Sort of yes, but sort of no. Used to go a lot. Hobbies, excluding YouTubing and Taekwondo. I... I've recently taken interest in swing dancing. Not swinging, swing dancing. Swing dancing. Swing dancing is a type of old sort of style dancing. 
and it's really fun. And I did it with my girlfriend when I was in Thailand, and it's amazing. And I want to go back, and I think I'm going tonight actually with my friend and her boyfriend that's come round um, to stay for a little bit. Uh, so that's going to be fun. I also really like my interests kind of fluctuate quite a lot. The general interest that I have most of the time. What the hell is going on? I think someone's doing the other room up. I think going to, we're going to have a new occupant coming in. I forgot to mention, like, this is my new room. I didn't mention it in the other room, uh, the other room, the other um, video that I did. This is my new room. You can see a little bit of it because following this way, this half of the room, is not very cleanly because I need to um, get rid of some, take some stuff back out, some boxes and stuff. So you're not seeing that. I don't want to tarnish my reputation that's already so pristine. Any more hobbies? Uh, I love philosophy. Philosophy is one of my passions that I have not actually divulged any of my work to yet because I'm saving it for my upcoming book, which comes on to the writing aspect of my hobbies, I guess. I like hobbies. I used to game a lot, but I have stopped that now because it kills my productivity and I get addicted to it. But I also like to write song lyrics and do a bit of rapping and all that kind of stuff. I'm actually thinking of doing a rap video about autism. Tell me what you think in the comments if you want me to do it or not. Might be a good 1000 subscriber special or 2000 subscriber special depending on when I can get it out for. I go running now and again with my friends um, at a running club. Planning on going to athletics, maybe doing a bit of sprinting, all that kind of juicy stuff and Muay Thai. Like Muay Thai. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Next thing. My achievements. This is a great time for me to brag. I have A levels, which are good. I got A star A B in my A levels. I think that's a good achievement for me. Uh, I've had a lot of success in the university, just doing different little roles, mental health ambassador, first year of student rep, um, that kind of stuff, just to boost up my CV. Uh, I've also um, had a lot of success in Taekwondo, I got a Commonwealth Gold Medal and Best Male Athlete of the Competition for, I can't remember when it was, what year is it? I'll show you my, I'll show you my trophy actually. It's my trophy. My dad likes to put apples in it whenever it's home, just to kind of degrade my achievement. Just joking. And there's my medal which I am very proud of. It was one of the most difficult competitions that I've ever done. I was fighting an above weight person who was about 10, 15 kilos heavier than me and about three or four inches bigger than me as well. So that was fun. It was a, the, probably the closest match that I've ever had. And when it was happening, like people were screaming so much because it was like one of the last fights because it was heavyweights. And it was just mad. Like I've never heard so much noise and stress and we were both tired and like sweating and sweating over each other and stuff, just like trying to kick each other just to get some points. One of my best experiences. The other people in the, the category, the emerged category, were all Australians, so it was about three Australians and me, so. Yes, Britain! I also have um, a few international medals that I've done. Um, got bronze in one of them, got a few silvers as well in some of the other ones when I was in juniors, which is like under 17s. Um, got a few national medals, a lot of silver ones in my uh, my starting phase of my Taekwondo career. But these are my babies. We've got a shiny. Uh, these are the national championship medals for 2014 and 2015, which I'm very proud of because um, it was something that I aspired to for a long time when I started and it, it really gave me a confidence boost and helped with my depression and stuff and it was, it was overall like a, one of the best things that I've ever done getting into the sport um, but yeah that's that, they're my Taekwondo achievements um, I came fourth in the under 21 European Championships don't know if that means anything to you and I was a finalist just looking at the poster over there um, in the young male sportsman for Bradford 
Stephen and I in Bradford, but the club's in Bradford, so I don't know. Take it or leave it, I guess. I'm really trying to, struggling to think of other things. I swear there was some other things I was going to say. Anyway, I don't want to brag too much, even though I already have. Please let me have it. Please don't bash me in the comments. I just want to make you proud of me, Mom. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. What do I love and hate about YouTube? I've just noticed that I'm sort of flicking this book in the bottom of the screen a bit too much, so I'm sorry if that's a bit annoying. I love I hate about YouTube. I love YouTube because it's free. And I don't, I don't need to use storage, and I can just upload my videos, and I should really keep a backup, to be honest. Um, but I just like to upload my videos, get my content out there. I like to be understood by people, and I like to help people. So this is a very good platform for me to do that. It helps me with my communication skills, which should be good for my presentations in science, and trying to go into the whole media thing, and my book, and... All that kind of stuff, it gives me a lot of opportunity to think about stuff for my videos and, you know, try and communicate to a wide audience. Sounds like a CV, doesn't it? What I hate about YouTube, it's extremely hard to start. Um, if you have good content and you have good scripts and stuff, but you do, if you don't have the, the know-how on the software and you don't have the, the actual software or hardware to to do it all and um, it's very hard to start up and when you're starting up you've got a lot of progress to make so but until a certain point maybe doing like a year or something and um, I think I made like 15 videos in a year and uh, it wasn't that successful I got up up to about 150 give it or take and that was a bit difficult to start up it was a bit annoying because I think you know we've got some quality content here you've got quality lovely old Aspie here to deliver it to you I'm really tooting my whole trumpet here, aren't I? What else do I hate about YouTube? Just the dynamics of it, to be honest, just how it works and the type of people that get put in front of you. You know, if you regurgitate the same format and content and way of talking and you remove all the personal, you know, things that we have going on here and stuff, it's, it just kind of dilutes it and makes it feel like you're just watching some kind of shortened television programme, which is not what I'm trying to do here. Like, I always want to be trying try and be genuine with you and talk to you as, as if I your friend or your lover. No, I'm just joking. Uh, if 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 my mum was watching this, please like just ignore that. Why am I here? It kind of ties into the last one, I guess. I'm here because I like making videos. I love you guys, and I say that a lot. I'm saying that a lot, aren't I? I'm being very affectionate. I hope you don't like get weirded out and don't text me for a couple of weeks or something because that would be very demoralizing for me. But yeah, like I really like talking to a, a large group of people and trying to help people on a large scale, get my ideas out there, you know, try and start a community going for people to, you know, seek help and help others and that's kind of it's kind of why I'm doing it. And it's fun, I guess. Kind of nice having a face on something, and um, kind of makes me feel like I'm making progress towards something bigger. And I, I probably am, to be honest. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with why I'm here and the stuff I'm doing. So yeah, that about wraps up for the video. I know it's been a long video, and I hope I haven't dragged on too much. And I hope you found it somewhat interesting to know about me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down in the comments. Where else would you comment? I don't know, some message board on some random website. And tell me about what you've been eating, how you've been feeling. Have you seen any good TV programs lately? Um, tell me about the kind of videos that you want me to put out. Give me some feedback, whatever. Tell me if you like this video or not. And. Yeah? someone just called me. Maybe they're talking to someone on the phone. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be we will be going over your past trauma. 
and your events that have been leading up to this very moment that have been caused you to have some drastic withdrawal from Asperger's growth content. So I'll be prescribing you some hopefully consistent and regular stuff and we'll get you right and ready just for the next um, next appointment.